Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just me start the live and once you done with that, just me come back over here, click on the checkbox and then just me click on agree and continue. Now just me wait and now here just me search for the Vertex AI over here, like this way. Now just me click on this link over here, like this way. Now just me wait. Now just me click on this enable all recommendation API, like this way. Make sure that you have to click over here. Now just me click on this workbench. And then just me click on this user managed notebook over here. Now just me click on this open Jupyter lab like this way. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. So just me wait for that. And if you face any kind of error while launching a Jupyter notebook, no need to worry. Just me close the tab again, come back over here again. Just me click on this link over here. Now just me wait. And it's done. Now here you can see this Gemini file. So just me double click over here like this way. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running a shell or you can say command, you can just me click on this play button over here like this way. Or you can just me hit shift and enter button. Okay. But make sure that before running any particular shell, your kernel status must be ideal. If your kernel status is busy, then you have to just me wait until it shows the ideal. So first of all, what you do, we have to just me run this shell. So just me hit shift and enter like this way. Now if you just me check over here and from here you can see the kernel status is busy. So just me wait until it shows the ideal. And it's finally ideal over here. Okay. Now here, please pay attention over here. Now if I just simply run this shell over here, if I just simply run this over here, just simply wait, as you can see, I'm getting this kind of error. The reason is behind that after running this shell, what you do, we have to restart the kernel. So how to do that? Just simply click on this name over here. Just simply click over here. Then you will get this kind of pop-up. Now just simply click on this select over here, like this way. Now if you just simply check over here, so it's disconnected now. And now just simply wait. And it's again ideal. Now again, just me click on this name like this way and now just me run this shell over here. So as you can see, now we are not getting any kind of error and it's ideal again. Now just me run all this shell like this way till end. Like this way. Now just me wait until this show as ideal. And it's finally done. Now if you just may come back to the lab instructions and if you just may scroll down and click on the checkpoint progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just may wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue. Just may wait and watch. So as you can see, it's done for each and every task. But if you are not able to get a green tick over here, no need to worry about that. You have to just wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure. And if you just may come back over here and if you just may scroll up, here you can see this kind of error. So no need to worry about this error also. Just may come back over here and click on the each and every check my progress. And it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.